the 12th of December and today I thought I'd talk about some of my own personal Christmas traditions and uh, especially about the gift wrapping and the card writing. Uh, I um, have sort of a, <clears throat> a little hang up that all the gifts that come from me should have a theme. So this year it's green and gold. So I have several different green wrapping papers and yeah, so that when you get a gift from me, you know that it's from me. <laughs> uh, and uh, before I had children or a child, uh, I spent a lot more time wrapping. I made all the cards and yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of effort went into both the cards and the gifts. Now I don't have that much time, uh, but still I do like to have a theme. And uh, I like to write the Christmas cards myself. There is a tradition in Norway where you get a photo of your kids or the family and then it says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and then they just send it out. It doesn't, they, they don't write anything, not, not their names and the addresses are made in Excel and they print them out and glue them on. And it's so, it's not personal. And I think, well, then you could just post that picture on Facebook and say, Merry Christmas to you all and be done with it. Don't waste time and money on stamps. Just use social media. It's okay. Uh, because when I get a card in the mail, I would like it to be written and meant for me, not just one in a million. But that's just me. Um, usually for my family, I have Christmas cards with uh, photos of my daughter or me and her and or the cat. Uh, <laughs> this year I haven't been able to take one so I might not. Well, we'll see if she's in the mood. She's 12 and she's moody. Um, but I do like the traditional Christmas cards. Uh, we have a Santa here. Here. You see him? This is a Norwegian Santa. Pure Snissen. I will tell you about him, but not today. So yeah, that uh, and when I write my cards and wrap my my gifts, I often listen to Christmas music and there's a very, very important ingredient in my Christmas, and it's this. Can you see this? This is incense. It's called King Incense. And I have done a little research, and this is only sold in Norway. You can't get it anywhere else in the world. And it has a very, very specific smell, and Ever since I was a child, this has been Christmas. When I can smell this, then it's instant Christmas spirit. My mother always burnt this incense when I was a child. So on the 1st of December, I start burning this incense and do it all throughout December. And uh, it's just a very, very Christmassy smell. It's hard to describe, <laughs> but you have to take my word for it. So, uh, that's one of my uh, Christmas traditions that I like and that I often do alone and I appreciate the time and the calmness to sit down and write cards and just take the time 
um, because December is stressful. Oh man. So you have to take the pockets of calmness that you can get. Thank you.